For this classic stuffed shells recipe, we'll need some mild Italian sausage, bagged fresh spinach, some ricotta cheese, some jumbo shells, mozzarella cheese that will be shredded, some marinara sauce, your favorite spaghetti sauce, a couple eggs, parsley flakes, black pepper, Italian seasoning, and finally some Parmesan. And I'm gonna make a big batch here. As you can see, most of these items are doubled, uh, but the recipe in the description below will be for just one pan. Today I'm making two pans. To a large mixing bowl, add in your ricotta cheese. You'll want to brown the sausage, breaking it up into little chunks, and this will go into the filling with the ricotta cheese. In the same pan that we used to brown the Italian sausage, we'll now wilt our spinach, and this will reduce immensely. We'll add a little bit of salt just to help the osmotic pressure, and so the salt will help the water be drawn out of the spinach. So we'll wilt down our spinach, and right now I have this over low heat. We'll want to stir the spinach occasionally too while it's wilting, just so the bottom is going to be burned. We will cook our pasta shells about six or seven minutes. We want them to be just al dente. And just like that, a large bag of spinach wilts down into this much. So we'll go ahead and add this into our ricotta and our Italian sausage mix. And because I am making two big trays for this recipe, I'm gonna wilt my other bag. Next, we'll add two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Next, we'll add two teaspoons of parsley. And finally, we'll add two half teaspoons or one full teaspoon of black pepper. And we'll go ahead and we'll mix this up. Once the pasta is al dente, about six or seven minutes in, we'll want to put it in a strainer, get rid of all the pasta water, and then we'll want to let this cool because we will be handling it with our hands. Once the pasta is cool enough to handle, we will take a tablespoon and we'll go ahead and put ample filling into each shell and on a sauce bottomed baking dish, we'll go ahead and fit as many shells as we can in here. So we'll take our shell here, we'll take a spoonful of our filling, kind of push it in there with the spoon and just kind of pop that right there. And we'll keep doing this until we either run out of shells or run out of filling. Once we have one layer of stuffed shells on the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and take some marinara sauce and sprinkle it over the top here. And then we will take our grated mozzarella cheese, a nice heaping handful or two, and And we will put a little bit more sauce on here. And then we'll go ahead and make another layer of shells. Once we have our double layer of shells, we will take a little bit of Parmesan cheese and add that to the top. And then finally, we'll go ahead and cover it with some slices of and that's just to cover every little bit, make sure that this gets super cheesy. Tray two is assembled and ready for the topping. I'm only gonna do one on this tray just cause it's a little bit shallower. So what we'll do, we'll take a little bit of sauce and we'll just kind of sprinkle that over. And 
And we'll take our Parmesan. Sprinkle some parm on it. Nice even coating here. And finally, we'll take our cheese and we'll layer it on top. Once our trays are complete and topped with cheese, we will go ahead and set the oven to 375. Make sure to cover your pans too with aluminum foil and we will bake these at 375 first for 25 minutes. After 25 minutes on 375, remove the foil and bake for another 10 minutes until the cheese gets nice and crispy brown. After you put the broiler on it uh, on low setting for, I don't know, roughly five or six minutes, it is ready to be served. Look at how delicious that looks. Nice crispy cheese on top, delicious stuffed shells. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. Leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't to help the channel out. And have a great rest of your meal eating stuffed shells.